Hey guys, this is super random and I'm kind of rambling, but I really believe in it. It's powerful, it's motivational. You create your I'm gonna reality. I'm going to make a new one this morning. This was something I had hanging up in our bathroom mirror. It says, I am ready to accept and receive miracles beyond what I've ever experienced. So I'm a huge believer. I know that what you put out into the universe comes back to you. And that goes beyond like the good karma. I mean, you can call it karma. You can call it quantum physics. You can call it what you want. But what you give is what you get. So it goes beyond doing like good deeds for people. Yes, that's amazing. And that will come back to you as well. But it's also the words you speak and what you think. So I realized that for a little while I was stuck in this like negative train of thought where it was just like, this isn't good enough. This job isn't good enough. I should be doing better. I should have more money. Oh, poor me. Poor thing. Blah, 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 blah. And I would speak things. I would get frustrated or I'd say, oh, this is going to go horrible. And everything that you throw out there, it's energy. And all that negative energy, you're going to start attracting the negative energy and you're going to find yourself around negative people in a negative job. Just your whole world's going to be this one big negative place. But you can, even if it's just a small thing, like think to yourself, what is something that's really positive about me? And I bet a lot of you mamas out there can say, I'm a good mom. So you know what? Say that out loud. Say it out loud with me. I'm a good mom. I'm a good mom. What I do? I'm a really good mom. And you know what? I really believe that. I'm a really good mom. And you start saying it, and then you start thinking of other things that, you know, are good in your life. You know, I'm a good mom, and I have a good son. Like, Bodhi's a really sweet little boy. He's well-behaved. He's He listens well. And I really believe that, and I really think that. Um, when it comes to money, try not to think about the money that you don't have. Try to rewire your brain to think about the money that you do have. So I write grateful lists. I will talk out loud. That's why this YouTube thing is perfect for me because I just talk out loud all the time anyways. It's like I'm talking to somebody, so I might as well put a camera on. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, money. So like I try to, and I know it's not as easy, you know, as... As said and sometimes it can be difficult but when I really focus on the fact that we have enough money to have a home and food and clothing we get to go do fun things spend time as a family we have money in the bank we're not rich we are not rich by any means not at all but we have enough and I'm grateful for that and I'm thankful for that. And as I continue to practice that true gratefulness, things continue to work out. And not even just work out, they continue to get better. If you want to see some videos, some stories, some examples that I have about since I switched around my train of thought, to how life just kept getting better and better and better. Put a thumbs up or leave a comment and I'll make more videos like those. Like I could talk about this for hours. Oh, This one story about being grateful and being thankful for the small amount of money that I did have. And as I was practicing that and every night with my grateful list, really thanking my higher power, thanking the universe that I had enough money to get by, I randomly got a $700 check in the mail. Now, yes, it was from like a previous employer, but it was, so it wasn't just like some all like random check, but it was something that I had completely forgot about or really didn't even know that I'd be getting. And I, I really could use it at the time. I was getting by with, you know, what I had, but by 
appreciating what you have in life right now, knowing that it's enough and just being really thankful for it and expressing that gratitude, that's how positive things keep coming your way. It's like The Secret. There is. There's a book about it. The Secret. The movie. <laughs> um, I haven't read the book. I did watch some of it. It's on Netflix. I have some friends that are doing really well, super successful, and it started with The Secret, but I'm not here to... Uh, promote that. I'm just saying like it's all just changing your thinking. It's kind of that my glass is half half full. And you know what? I'm thankful that my glass is half full. I'm gracious and I've got enough water in that glass to do powerful things. Next thing you know, the glass is full. <laughs> Anyways, that was a complete ramble. I started off talking about magnets. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this so that it will fit. So if you caught that, I got those clips from a video I was trying to do about magnets. It was actually an affirmation that I say in the morning. Remember that you have the ability to create your reality. Try to change your thinking from I don't have enough to what I have is amazing and I'm thankful and I'm grateful Think positive, speak positive, you're amazing. I'd love it if you'd go look in the mirror and tell yourself how strong you are. I hope this video helped at least one of you. Go out and make it a great day.